Hey ho people, welcome to Game Show, the best topical gaming discussion on YouTube, good lord. So today we're going to talk about the best MMO ever. Now this could be, well this should be quite the subject actually, because how do you decide what is the best MMO? But this is where we get clever. It, 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 it depends on the person, I mean, do, do you, do, Mr. Kiriath, what is your best MMO? What is the best MMO to you? Well personally, best MMO to me, still got to be WoW. It, Why? Well, of all the MMOs I've played, and I've played quite a few, um, it's the one that kept me going the longest. I kept going back to it. I've had the most characters, the most playtime. I've met the most people. It's just been the one that's basically dominated more of my sort of MMO playing time than any other. Why, though? Why? You still haven't answered the question. Why? What was special about World of Warcraft to you? It's it's kind of hard to put my finger on. I think it had no 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 no. You're thinking too difficult, too too detailed here. What what is special about World of Warcraft to you? In the grand scheme of MMO games, the grand scheme of it, it would just be the way it, just the way it felt. No 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 no. <laughs> what is special with World of Warcraft when it comes to you? But what, what is that unique thing with World of Warcraft? compared to every other MMO you've played. Oh, I see you're making this difficult now. It's a, it, it, it's, it's a bit thick for that. Basically, it was your first MMO, wasn't it, Mr. Kiriyoff? Ah, but it wasn't. No, no, your first real MMO. Oh, my first, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. you can't tabula rasa. I'm not talking, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> tabula rasa. That, that did no, not what, go well, did it? What I'm saying is the first MMO you played. Oh, yeah, well, the first oh, one well, I played that. properly, it is wow. So, mm. yeah, it would, it would be, wouldn't it? Now this is a unique thing, this is because almost everybody is unique in their own right. Now, obviously a lot of people, World of Warcraft will be their MMO, um, the best MMO, because it brought so many people into the fold. Unbelievable. For me though, I played, now my very first MMO was EverQuest 1 or EQ Live, whatever you want to call it. Now, I only played it for two months, so I wasn't exactly, you know, hardcore by any stretch of the imagination. but. It really opened my eyes to the whole, you know, what MMOs actually were and this like idea of like a, a fantasy world where you can sort of go and get lost in it, you can play a different character and all the rest of it. It was a totally new idea to me and at the time, you know, I was quite young, I think I was 16 or 17 when I first started playing EverQuest uh, 1. But then I quickly moved on to EverQuest 2. Now, kind of in the example of Kiriath, although mine's a little bit, a bit more extreme I suppose because it was longer time frames involved. I he played Tabula Rasa first and didn't really... Well, it was a crap game. Let's face it, Tabula Rasa was pretty bad. Yeah. But I only played it for maybe a month and then that was it. Tabula Rasa was gone. For me, I played EverQuest 2 for like a month or two. I think it was about two months. And then I evolved or moved on to EverQuest 2 because it was the new game. And if I'm quite honest, the whole reason why I played EverQuest 2 is because it looked better graphically. You know, it, I was fairly young at the time. You know, I'm probably, I, was, I think I was getting up for 17 Um so I'm playing EverQuest 2 and I'm getting involved in the community. I'm, I'm becoming a raid leader. You know, I was the raid leader of the best European guild for a, quite a long time. Um, I was a main tank, you know, I was an officer in a guild. It was crazy. And I really got, like, lost in that game. And so for me, if you ever, ever ask me what the best MMO is, it would always, always be EverQuest 2. You know, I'll always remember my Guardian. I'll always remember my Berserker. I'll always remember my Paladin. You know, that, that is like, that is the game for me. However, at this same time, World of Warcraft comes along um, and a lot of people started going to World of Warcraft and now WoW, obviously, even if you absolutely hate WoW, WoW has brought that many people into the MMO arena or market or sector, whatever you want to call it, it's to a lot of people that is the best MMO and will most likely always be the best MMO because it kind of goes beyond you know, just simple game mechanics and is this game, you know, does it look better graphically? Has it got a better, you know, are the mechanics better? Yada, yada, yada. Because it, it, it like goes, it goes into the social aspect of it. Will you ever find a game again where you'll have that guild, you'll have those people, you'll have those experiences? I don't know, it's, it's strange. Before I let you jump in as well, uh, Kiri Mama, the, I think the first time you, you take part in a raid, the first time you take part in some pvp it's like the first time you do it you really remember that even if you then play a game a few years you know down the line which arguably has got a better pvp experience let's say let's compare wow to guild wars 2 
you're still going to remember the first time and that will always be the best because it's the first time you ever experience that and it's it's such an interesting thing to me to think about it this way it's crazy so i was i'd say that technically speaking the game that i thought i should have you know preferred and played more was warhammer online because you yeah, know i love the universe and i really liked the classes and so on and the pvp was pretty good but actually when i think back to it there aren't that many moments from when we played warhammer online where i sort of think back and i think oh god yeah that was amazing whereas wow even though it's been you know years since i did any sort of pvp and wow it's it still sticks in my mind it's because i think it's because the the rogue i had in wow that was the first character i ever pvp'd with and it does stick with you it's the kind of thing where what might happen to other players like every day if they play it intensively if that's the first time you've done something in that game then you will remember it pretty much forever no matter what other games sort of come along it's just that that moment of oh god i've just done something awesome and it just sticks in your head and there's no real way of of getting past that as something that makes you think of it it's just for instance i was thinking the other day when i we logged into wow just to have a look around um, I wonder what Warhammer Online is like nowadays. But I found myself thinking, if it's a choice between the two, though, I still go back to WoW. And it's just because the first time I did anything, I did it in WoW. So, you know, you've got that knowledge in the back of your head, and it stays there pretty much forever. And that biases you against other games, you know, taking over as your favourite by quite a lot, I think, even if you haven't played that game for ages. It's mad. I mean, I'm sure. I mean, I want you guys to comment, uh, you know, the people watching the video. Please comment below with your, what is the best MMO to you? I'm a lot, I would imagine a lot will be World of Warcraft, but give me, a, tell me why. why. Why is that the best game? You know, like I've said that for me with EverQuest 2, I was a, a raid tank. I got really involved in that game. I, you know, my character, EverQuest had a nice feature where you, if you looted items, if you were the first person to loot the item, it would have a tag on the bottom and it would say discovered by and it would have your, your character name like which is really nice like so i'd have loads of items which you know i've discovered first person in the world to wear this bit of armor and all this and it was like that was like so mind-blowing to me i just couldn't like i mean even now you can you can tell by the passion i'm talking about it it's so like that that to me was just the absolute best um mmo experience i've had you know and i know people who played everquest one and they tried to play EverQuest 2, but they couldn't because it was they were so invested in their previous game, you know, for the social aspects, their character and all the rest of it. Because you've got to remember with these games, now this is like one of the big things with MMOs, you put a lot of time into an MMO, it becomes quite difficult to just say, okay, I'm going to drop this now and go and play something else. Mm. You look at your EverQuest characters, you look at your World of Warcraft characters, these characters have like, you know, they're, well, in EverQuest's case, older than 10 years old some of them you know wow eight years old characters things like that very difficult to just say i'm cutting this out now and i'm just going to go and play guild wars 2 or, or something else and and yeah it's i think if anything this is more of a more of a chat about the the social aspects of mmo games and what kind of makes them more than games hmm. i think also that something else that will affect it a lot is if you're the kind of person who gets like really attached to your characters, that's one. Oh, yeah. That's the reason that I'm, I'm struggling with Guild Wars too, because I don't really, I don't really feel particularly bothered about the character I've got. But I, you know, if I went back to Warcraft, I already know which character I'd play, and I know it'd be the Paladin, and it'd be the Paladin because I've got the best memories of that character. I mean, some of the stuff we did. What was it? Running, uh, running Strathome when I realised that in fact I was using a, a heal that was five ranks lower than it should be. Stuff like that, you know, it just sticks in your head as, oh, that was mad, I don't know how he managed it. And I did it with that character. And then, you know, you find yourself thinking, what else did I do? And before you know it, you got that little sort of inkling in the back of your head. Oh, I wonder if, I wonder if I should break that character out again and, and just have a mess around and see what it's like now. And it's the influence of the characters as well that sort of sticks with you and makes you think, maybe yeah, I should go yeah. back. Yeah, it, it, it's like, and also like going back to doing things for the first time. I remember the raids, loads and loads of raids, obviously, because I was a raid leader and, you know, the guild was, like, raiding every single night of the week. I remember it was 7 o'clock till about 10. And sometimes it was even longer than that if new raids were coming out because we were trying to beat the monsters and all the rest of it. I remember lining up for uh, contested monsters. These were raid bosses that spawned in the world. And other guilds would try and, you know, obviously get the kill. If you get the first kill on the boss, 
then often you could lock it down because you'd understand the mechanics of the fight. So next time it spawned, you could turn up and kill it before the other guilds could. Because if the other guilds worked out how to kill it and then they killed it, then they're taking loot from you. Oh, and that's bad. And I can remember loads of examples of that. And it's just, it's like crazy. It's like, oh my God. But let's talk about reality for a second. Like if we step back from the, the whole, I'm totally lost in the game, it's amazing attitude. One of the reasons why EverQuest 2 raids was so difficult was because the graphics engine was so bad. It was so inefficient at the time. It looked fairly good, but it was so like poor, like it used to wreck everybody's computer. You had to turn off particle effects to raid. Now, what do you think um, uses particle effects? That's right, magical abilities like spells and AoEs. So you could not see the AoEs. They would just hit you and then you would die. It was like, oh. So you look at the combat log and it's like, well, I've just been hit by an AoE. Where did that come from? <laughs> And that's sort of like, now, if, now, I mean, honestly, now, EverQuest 2, to me, is like an unplayable game. I couldn't play it, no. Like, I mean, I, I remember logging in to check it because of its free-to-play transition. Um, and it, it was just, like, so old. I, I mean, that's the only, that's the best word I can find to describe it. It was just old. And I just thought, in today's, in this day and age, it's just unplayable. But the memories are, uh, like, what... What will keep me always shouting about EverQuest 2 was this and it was that and I remember this and I remember that. Crazy. So I, I think despite the, the lack of raiding on my part for WoW, it's, it's things like the instance runs and stuff and the heroics and actually it's something that will always, always remain with me. I think no matter how long again, what games I play, will be uh, when we dipped into PvP. You were a warrior and I was a rogue. And we had the amazing. Oh, yes, I know what you're about yeah, to say. <laughs> yeah. Sitting in the, uh, it was the field of strife, wasn't it, or the field of gangs? Oh, it got renamed. And we used to sit in, in the, the middle of Alterac Valley. Yeah. Yeah, Valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we used to sit in a little pit that was in the middle, and you couldn't quite see if there was anyone in there if you were riding past. So we wait for the alliance <laughs> yeah. to go past, and the last person on the big line of alliance guys would get a charge from you and a stun, and then a shadow step and a stun from me, and then they'd usually die. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's gonna, that is just going to stay with me because every time, it was like every time we pulled it off, it felt like an amazing thing. I mean, it probably yeah, wasn't yeah, all yeah. that fun for the people it was being done to, but it was like, oh, uh, there uh, is it. Yes, got, got it. Yeah. What were we actually doing to contribute towards the objectives? <laughs> Nothing. It's like, uh, but, but like that's another example. There's just loads of it, guys. Loads and loads and loads. And like, so I, I guess we put the question to him again, Mr. Kirioff. What is the best MMO ever that you have played comment below and let us know we, we could sit here for hours and just talk about our mmo experiences and all the rest of it but fortunately um making a video which is like five hours long is not a good idea <laughs> god knows it'll take ages to encode but also uh it probably wouldn't upload ever um, and getting the footage for it good lord that requires some good, oh my god <laughs> <laughs> it would, yeah. so there you go chaps we're, we're out of here make sure you subscribe to the channel um, follow us well follow me on Twitter which is at Unit Lost Gaming you can follow Kirioff on at Kirioff good lord and uh, click all the links in the description and make sure you comment below and tell us what your the best MMO is to you and why it's the best MMO and what is your best experience in that MMO because most likely that experience has caused you to believe that that game is now the best MMO you will ever play good lord we'll catch you next time people toodaloo